Hey guys, and welcome back to another Rise and Flow. For today's session, you're not gonna need anything at all, just some space on the floor, a mat if you have one, and whenever you're ready, come and join me in Tadasana. Oh well, we'll begin with a warm up first. <laughs> so if you come to the front of your mat, find yourself in Tadasana, and we'll just begin by rolling the shoulders back and down, maybe five times backwards. And then five times forwards. Really hunch those shoulders up in towards your ears, squeeze the muscles, get that blood moving. When you've done five times in both directions, we're just gonna come back to center. Inhale as you lift the right arm all the way up, exhale, reach all the way over to the left. Inhale back to center, switching over the arms, exhale, reach all the way over to the right. We're gonna do five rotations on each side. Inhaling to lift and lengthen, exhaling to fold. So really feel that stretch in the side body. Use the breath to go deeper into that fold. Last one on each side. And then gently come back to centre, take the arms out wide in a T-shaped position and we're going to wrap the arms around the body as we twist to look behind. So we're just doing five or six rotations on each side. Just let the hands fall, lower back and top of your arm. Inhale as you come through and lift and lengthen through that mid-centre. One more each side and then come back to centre. Inhale, as you extend the hands up above the head, bend at the knees, hinge at the hips as you exhale, come down into your Uttanasana forward fold. We'll take the ragdoll variation, so opposite hand to opposite elbow. Really focus on bringing that chest over the thighs, crown of the head towards the floor. And just take a couple of deep breaths as you swing from side to side, getting into the glutes, the hips, the lower back. With every exhale, see if you can just melt a bit deeper over those legs. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release the hands to the floor. We're just going to do three crouch curls. So you're going to lift your heels, bring the knees to the chest, nose to knees as you inhale. And then as you exhale, fold up and back into your forward fold. Extend through the legs, find that stretch in the hamstrings. Inhale to bend or crouch. Exhale to fold. One more, inhale to crouch. Exhale to fold. And then we're going to come all the way up as you inhale, extend to Tadasana. Exhale, release the arms and reset at the front of the mat. So we'll begin with our usual sun salutation sequence um, of four rounds. So we'll do three breaths in the first round, so nice and slow, two in the second, and then one in the third and fourth. So just take your time and if you get lost, just move and breathe. So setting yourself up in Tadasana, lift the toes, spread them, press the feet firmly into the ground, feel the ground beneath you. Tuck that tailbone under, engage through the legs, suck the navel back towards the spine, roll those shoulders back and down, lengthen through the crown of the head and just take a nice deep breath all the way in through the nose. Exhale. On the next inhale, you're going to lift the hands all the way up above the head, extended to dasana, reaching up tall. As you exhale, we're going to hinge at the hips and swan dive all the way down into our Uttanasana forward fold. As it's the first one of the rounds, we'll take the uh, ragdoll variation and feel free to bend at the knees again, draw that belly over the thighs, crown of the head towards the floor. You can stay still or you can gently rock from side to side, wherever you need to be. Two more deep breaths. And then as you exhale, release the hands to the floor. On the next inhale, step back with the left foot into your high or low lunge. If you're in that low lunge, drop the knee to the floor, roll those shoulders back and down. Chest comes through the arms, eye gaze forwards. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, sink deeper into that hip. Feel the stretch in the left hip flexor. One more deep breath all the way in. And as you exhale, step back to down facing dog. Press through the hands, push the crown of the head towards the floor, open up that upper back, pull the shoulder blades apart, release the neck from the shoulders. Point the tailbone high and then just gently pedal through the feet, 
opening up the cuffs, the hips, the hamstrings, the ankles and the feet. Take a few deep breaths. And on the next inhale, we're gonna roll forward. So take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, sorry, push the heels towards the floor. And then inhale as you roll forwards to that high plank. Option to drop the knees if you need to. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Always there's the option to do sphinx instead of cobra. In either pose, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the inner thighs, point the toes, engage the legs, help the lower back out. Roll those shoulders back and down away from the ears. Open up that front body. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. One more deep breath all the way in. And as you exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. This time we're going to pulse through the arms. So bend at the knees, point that tailbone high and just pulse the crown of the head towards the floor, opening up the shoulders. If you'd rather work on the legs again, then feel free to pedal. Just a couple of pulses towards the floor, opening up the shoulders, the chest and the arms. And then on the next inhale, press through the ground, extend through the body, find that length in the spine. Exhale, push the heels towards the floor. Inhale, look forwards, and you're stepping your left foot through, placing it between the hands, finding your high or low lunge again. Roll those shoulders back and down, eye gaze forwards. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, sink deeper into that groin. Open up that right hip flexor. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale, step through to your Uttanasana, forward fold. This time, think about finding as much length in your spine as you can. As you inhale, exhale, see if you can fold deeper and just gradually ease the body into that forward fold position. Two more breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then inhale as you come all the way up, extended to Dasana. So we're at two breaths per pose, so we're moving slightly quicker now. Exhale, swan dive all the way down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, find that length. Exhale, fold deeper. And on the next inhale, we're stepping back with the right foot all the way to the back of the mat, high or low lunge. Roll those shoulders back and down, eye gaze forwards. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, step back to down facing dog. Press through the hands, inhale as you extend through the spine. Exhale, push those heels towards the floor. And then on the next inhale, we're gonna roll forwards, high plank, option to drop the knees if you want to. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra, press the ground away, open up that front body. Exhale, let the hips sink towards the ground. One more deep breath all the way in. And then as you exhale, tuck the toes and press back to your down facing dog. Again, press through the hands, inhale as you find length in the spine. Exhale, push the heels towards the floor. And on the next inhale, look forward, step the right foot through, finding your high or low lunge, yogi's choice. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, step through to your Uttanasana, forward fold. And again, inhale to find that length. Exhale to fold deeper. And then inhale as you come all the way up, extended to Dasana, palms together at the top. Exhale as you swan dive down, one breath per pose. So just move and breathe, guys. Inhale, left foot goes back, high or low lunge. Exhale, right foot goes back, down facing dog. Inhale, roll forward, high plank. Exhale, low plank on his chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. Inhale, look forwards, left foot comes through, high or low lunge. Exhale, step through to Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, extended to Dasana. Exhale as we swan dive all the way back down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Last round. Right leg goes back, high or low lunge, yogi's choice. Exhale, step back to down facing dog. Inhale, roll forwards to high plank. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. Inhale, look forward, right foot comes through, high or low lunge. Exhale, left foot comes through, Uttanasana, forward fold. 
inhale all the way up extended chadasana reaching up tall exhale release the arms shake it all out and you should be feeling a little bit more warm and mobile so in the next two rounds we're going to do the variation of sun salutation c and we're going to add in the balance flow in the middle so if you come to the front of your mats and reset back into dasana we'll take it a bit slower than those last few sun salutations so don't worry <laughs> and if you get lost move and breathe and obviously feel free to put that foot down if you need to so setting yourself up in that tadasana pose we're going to inhale as we lift the hands all the way up extended tadasana exhale swan dive all the way down to your uttanasana forward fold inhale to halfway lift exhale fold deeper and then on the next inhale, you can step or hop back to plank and we'll take a vinyasa. So exhale, low plank, inhale, press up to cobra, exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. So we'll start on the right side today. Inhale, send the right leg up and back into your three leg down facing dog. Bend at the knee, have a little hip twist, open up that hip and then swing the leg through, plant it between the hands. We're coming into our warrior one. So back foot goes down at a 45 degree angle. Hips are square to the front of the mat. Press through the feet as you inhale, lift the hands off the floor, reach up tall. Exhale, sink into that warrior one. Engage the inner thighs, squeeze the glutes, press the feet through the floor. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release that back hand to that back leg. Inhale as you straighten that front leg, reach up tall. Exhale, reach back into that reverse warrior. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then as we inhale, we're windmilling the arms all the way up and over, sending the body weight forwards, coming into dancers or just that single leg lift and grab. So you're holding the inside of your left foot, inhaling to lift and kick into that dancer's pose. Hold. And then when you're ready, exhale to release the foot. Inhale to lift and tuck. If you can, bringing that leg round in front of you. Exhale as you send the leg straight out in front of you and come into a variation of a forward fold with an extended leg, reaching nose towards toes. This time you can either come straight back up into that tuck or hook your big fingers around your big toe. And then inhale to lift, hand to big toe pose. Option to take the foot out to the side. If you want to challenge your balance further, hold and then bring the foot back to the front if you haven't already. Bring the leg into a tuck, so release the hand, reach up tall again, and as we exhale, we're going to send the leg back and fold into our warrior three. Hold, and then when you're ready, inhale to come all the way up, extended to dasana. Exhale, sit back into chair pose, hold, and then inhale to lift, exhale, release. So one side done, we'll try the other side. You're doing really well. So finding yourself back in that Tadasana pose, reset. We're gonna go back down through that sun salutation variation. So inhale, extended Tadasana. Exhale, hinge at the hips, come all the way down into your Uttanasana forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeper. And then option to step or hop back to your plank pose as you exhale. Come all the way down to Uttanasana uh, to the floor. And then inhale as you press up into that cobra or sphinx. Exhale, tuck the toes, press back to down facing dog. And then this time we're going for the left side. So inhale, lift that left leg up high to the sky, three leg down facing dog, bend at the knee, have a little hip twist, open up that hip and then swing the leg through. Find your warrior position with the feet. So back foot is down at a 45 degree angle. Hips are square to the front of the mat. Inhale as you lift those hands up above the head. Exhale, warrior one. Take a nice deep breath in. Squeeze through the thighs, squeeze the glutes, press through the feet. Exhale, release that back hand to the back leg. Inhale as you straighten the front leg and lift and reach with that hand, left hand up towards the ceiling. Exhale, reverse warrior. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Inhale as you come all the way back up, windmilling the arms up and over, sending the body weight forwards, catching that right foot with the right hand, and then option to lift into dancer's pose. Hold, 
exhale release the leg inhale to come all the way up into that tuck and then exhale as you extend the leg and come into that forward fold variation reaching nose towards toes take a nice deep breath in exhale and then either come back up into that tuck or hook your fingers around your big toe and then you're inhaling to lift straight up into hand to big toe pose option to take the leg out to the side hold come all the way back to the front if you're out at the side release the foot tuck the leg and then as you exhale send it all the way back coming into warrior three body is parallel to the floor hold and then inhale as you come all the way up release the hands release the foot exhale sit back into chair pose hold inhale to lift exhale as we come all the way down into our uttanasana forward fold and we'll finish off with a quick cool down so we're going to come into our crouch curls so if you inhale lift the heels bring the knees towards the chest nose towards knees take a nice deep breath all the way in exhale and then bring the bum to the floor coming into a seated position on the mat taking the legs straight out in front of you flex the toes back towards you pull the fleshy bits of the bum out from underneath your sit bones inhale as you lift and lengthen exhale as you hinge at the hips coming into a seated forward fold reaching nose towards toes take a nice deep breath all the way in exhale two more deep breaths all the way in last deep breath all the way in again exhale and then inhale as you come all the way up slide the bum down towards the heels come on towards your back bring your knees in towards your chest and just rock from side to side as you massage the lower back taking the toes to the floor but keeping the heels lifted you're going to take the hands out wide in a t-shaped position glue the shoulders to the floor and then just drop the knees from side to side for a few window wipers to finish releasing off the lower back unraveling the spine massaging the hips one more each side and then whenever you're ready just bring the knees all the way back in towards your chest give them one last hug as you rock from side to side inhale bring your nose towards your knees come into that tuck ball position exhale release and then slowly come all the way over onto the right side of your body and gently bring yourself all the way up to seated. Coming to the center of your mats, we'll just take one final deep inhale as we lift the hands up above the head, palms together at the top, and as we exhale to the forehead, kind thoughts, to the lips, kind words, to the heart, kind feelings. Namaste.